I think we've all been there waiting on a repairman to fix an appliance. But a Pasadena man says he's waited nearly nine months to get his refrigerator fixed. He bought it at Sears and it is under warranty. CBS 2's Christine Lazar is here to explain why he needed the fridge even more than the average customer. Elsa and Rick, since we've been doing Two on Your Side for the past nine months, I have received 15 complaints about Sears, most of them having to do with warranty issues. It's one of the companies we receive the most complaints about. So I came, I opened the door and see that the refrigerator is not working. The big new Nizax refrigerator has been broken since June of last year. No light, no motor, nothing, everything died. The Kenmore fridge was only nine months old, so it was under warranty. The Polish immigrant told two on your side he assumed his fridge would be fixed within days because he bought it at Sears. Sears is uh, over 100 year old. It's almost like American institution. You know, it's it's very, it's the first. Uh, department store I will walk into when I came to this country. But as we stood in the kitchen nearly nine months later. No power, no light, no nothing. The fridge is still broken and Nizak has had enough. That's why he contacted us. This is not a matter of the money. I think this is the matter of the being human being and uh, how people treat people. To make matters worse, Nizak and his wife Ava run a six-person elderly care facility here in Pasadena. So that broken fridge was not just holding food and drinks, but medicine. When he called Sears when it broke last year, he says he was assigned an independent repair technician. When he called to make an appointment. The earliest they can come is in two weeks. When the repairman finally arrived. He said that it's going to take them two weeks to get that part uh, ordered through Sears. So first they tell you it's going to be two weeks to get the appointment. Yes. Then they say it's going to be two weeks to get the part. What are you thinking? Uh, I would think it's, it's crazy. Faced with a month without a refrigerator, Nizak bought a small fridge to tide them over. Once the tech came back. They came uh, with the part and it happens that the part was the wrong part. You heard that right. A month later, and they had the wrong part. Nizak says the tech told him he would call him back when the new part arrived. As the days ticked by, Nizak decided to buy a second, larger fridge. He had not heard from the repairman. And one day I called him about the answer. Then I called, I waited another day, not about the answer. The, 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 the phone, the number was, was gone. The, the number was, was dead. So he called Sears once again, and he tells two on your side it wasn't an easy process to get to the right person. I usually spend two and a half, three hours on the phone because I was switched so many times. Finally, he was promised a new tech would come out and fix his fridge. But when that tech called to say he was on his way, Nizak says he was told he'd have to pay for the appointment because the fridge was now out of warranty. At this point, you just don't even want it anymore. No, I don't want this anymore. I don't have another six months to talk to you about it. I want this refrigerator out. In almost every case, once I contacted Sears, they did resolve the issue immediately. But in this case, they say they can't do that because Nizak has filed a small claims case against them and they don't comment about pending litigation. I asked them about the frequency with which I get complaints about their company and they tell me the number of Better Business Bureau complaints against Sears has actually gone down 12% since 2015 and they insist that customer satisfaction is their number one priority. Of course, if you ask the big new, he will say that's... Not the case. And that's such an important part of our home, our refrigerator. Yeah, and they have yeah. medicine in there. You know, yeah. they're taking care of seniors. They can't just load right. them down to the McDonald's while they wait for a new fridge. Right. Okay. Oh, all right. Thanks, Christine. Thanks, Christine. Can Two on Your Side help you? Just email Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on social media. You can use the hashtag Two on Your Side and we will see what we can do to help you.